Is collecting bottles really profitable? Can you live off it? And would it make a good side hustle? Today, we're going to find out. Hey business warriors, and today I want to talk about a topic that many people may have been curious about. So if you live in the United States, often in one of the big cities on either the East or West Coast, like New York, LA, San Francisco, and I'll talk about why those places are significant in a moment, you'll often see people collecting huge bags of bottles, often homeless people, uh, but not always, as this article points out. Now what these people are doing is collecting bottles and cans and cashing them in for a refund. Now, not all states have this policy, which is why I mentioned on the coast, New York and California, because those two states do. There are actually now 10 states plus Guam, so 11 places in total that have what are called container deposit laws. And let's have a look at what that means. When a retailer buys beverages from a distributor, a deposit is paid to that distributor for each container purchased. The consumer pays the deposit to the retailer when buying the beverage and receives a refund when the empty container is returned to a supermarket or other redemption center. The distributor then reimburses the retailer or redemption center the deposit amount for each container, plus an additional handling fee in most states. Now I tried this out myself and later in the video, I'm gonna show you how much I made, or in this case, how much my kids made because I'm using the funds for their pocket money. But first of all, let's have a look at sort of some of the facts about it. So I read some articles on this and it seems that one large trash bag like this one will fetch approximately $10 when redeemed, which means um, that at five cents per bottle, which is the most common refund amount, that trash bag would have 200 bottles in it. Now, one article I read about bottle and can collectors in San Francisco said that the ones that do it full time can make between 30 and $50 per day, which would mean that they would be collecting between three and five of those large trash bags every day. $50 per day translates to $18,000 per year, which is more than the minimum wage for someone working a 30 hour week. Not bad for just walking around picking up stuff. Long hours though. But the job does have its caveats, such as intense competition in certain areas between bottle collectors, which has led some collectors to go to further away neighborhoods that have longer travel times. So it takes them more time to get the same amount of bottles. Then there is the situation in San Francisco, where if you take bottles out of a recycling bin that has been placed out on the curb by a household or a business, you're actually breaking the law and you may have a run-in with the police. Although the way things are going in San Francisco these days, perhaps not. There are also gangs who run larger operations, illegally emptying out recycle bins into pickup trucks in the dead of night. If you collect on what they consider their turf, you may have a run-in with some pretty nasty people. Anyway, I did say I would tell you about my test of the system and exactly how it works and also how you can do it yourself. And this is a great way if you want to get some extra cash flow or stealthily save up for things without even realizing that you're saving. So I save my own bottles rather than going out to collect other people's. And one week's worth normally fills up this bag. Then we go to the bottle machines at ShopRite and exchange the bottles for a receipt that then can be redeemed at the cashier, either for cash or for a discount on your groceries. I always take the cash. Don't underestimate though the amount of time it takes to put the bottles in the machine. Each bottle takes approximately two seconds to be scanned and processed. And then let's add on one more second to make three seconds per bottle just for the amount of time it takes to take it out of the bag to put in the machine. And also some bottles do take longer to process just in case they're damaged or something like that. Um, so that means that we are going at 20 bottles per minute so that 200 bottle bag is gonna take 10 minutes to process. And then three of those, you know, what a full timer might do in a day uh, would obviously take half an hour. Then also you need to make sure when you are collecting the bottles that the labels are not ripped off. So this would be no good has to be like this because the uh, machine is actually gonna be scanning the barcode when it accepts the bottles. You can also look at the back of the label to see uh, whether that particular bottle is accepted in your state. So uh, this Poland Spring bottle, for example, offers a five cent refund in three states, Connecticut, New York, and Maine. This bottle though offers refunds in a lot more states and even a 10 cent refund in California. 
And if you put a bottle in the machine that doesn't offer a refund in your state, it will just be rejected by the machine. Same goes for cans. And then obviously with the labels, cans don't have labels. You just need to make sure they are not crushed. So my shopping bag of this size gets me between one and $2 per week depending on how full it is. I think the most I've ever had in one week is $2.30. We then take that money and we put it into this piggy bank for the kids. Now we've done this for about two months and let's have a look at how much we've made so far. $13.69. So if we times that by six to get the annual revenue, we get $82.15. That's like my kids' pocket money for the whole year. They're only four and two, don't worry. We'll give them more money in the future. But even if you're collecting the money for yourself, at $80 per year, you might as well do it. That's 16 Starbucks lattes right there. Or if you put the money in an index funds at a 7% return and you added another $80 every year, that would be 1,340 in 10 years, 3,818 in 20 years, and 8,694 in 30 years. All for doing close to nothing, just saving your bottles. Anyway guys, I hope you've liked this tutorial about how to make money from collecting and redeeming bottles and cans. If you've ever done this, why not leave a comment about your experience below? I do read the comments and I'd love to hear what people say. If you want to buy the piggy bank, I'll put the Amazon link for that below. It is very cool. It's made of plastic, not ceramic, so it's great for kids. And also, if you want two free stocks just for signing up and depositing $100 with the stock brokerage app Weeble, link for that is below too. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.